but I'm on a mission to become a data analyst in six months. and welcome back to my channel my name is clouds and if you're new here it's very nice to meet you yes you heard that right i am trying to become a data analyst and i'm going to try to do it within the six month period and let me talk about why what how when etc let's break it down so first and foremost no i'm not going to quit consulting i am still a consultant and i'm still very happy in my job so i'm not going to quit my job this is not me trying to switch careers or anything this is me trying to upskill myself I don't think I've talked much about upskilling in this channel before. Uh, I might have mentioned it here and there, but let this be the first video where I fully tell you guys how important it is to upskill yourself and how important it is to really keep up with new skills out there in the market. And I've been sleeping on this idea of upskilling myself for a while now, mainly because I've been procrastinating, even though I know how important it is. So let's do it together, you and me. You can pick a course or certification or training program and while I do this, and we can go through it together and make sure we are keeping each other accountable. I honestly think upskilling is super important for two main reasons. Firstly, is an external and secondly, is an internal. So externally, being able to upskill yourself and learn new skills and add those skills onto your CV and your repertoire of things that you are able to do, it really future-proofs your career. And I think right now with all the uncertainty in the job market and the major layoffs that we've seen in the past year, I think it's more important than ever to ensure that you are developing new skills and you're staying ahead of the market in terms of what you're able to bring to the table. Secondly, as I mentioned, from a more internal perspective, I think it's so important to learn new skills and learn new areas of knowledge for yourself and to you know explore new interests who knows maybe a skill that didn't exist five years ago or a technology that didn't really exist five years ago has created a job market that is perfect for you that didn't exist before and you wouldn't really know about it if you didn't explore new skills and then you know try to expand your knowledge for example ux design is now a super popular career choice for many people that didn't really exist you know like 10 15 years ago because there wasn't a market and opportunity for it and if people didn't upskill themselves and if they didn't explore different markets perhaps people who are perfect for this job wouldn't even stumble upon it. So really, in order to explore your own interests and live your own life to the fullest, it's also super important to continuously learn new skills, I personally think. So as a management consultant, why did I decide to do data analytics? I think, honestly, it's incredibly relevant to my job, first and foremost. I think people wouldn't expect it to be, um, and it can be this case where as a management consultant, you'll never have to touch data. A lot of people do that, but I honestly doubt that that will be the case moving forward. And also, I personally really find data analytics incredibly interesting, and it's something I dabbled in before. When I was at London Business School, I did a business analytics course and data analytics course. They were both mandatory courses that I wasn't particularly good at, I'll just say, but I did really, really enjoy. We studied R, so that's the language that we pursued. Pretty useless language to be honest, I haven't encountered a single situation where I needed to use R. But I also learned Tableau, which I have used in my job. Like Power BI, for example, is another really important tool to learn these days for data visualization. And even though I'm in a you know position where I mainly work with qualitative data, it's still super important for me to understand how the backend works and for me to be really good at data analytics and um, finding patterns between different data points and be able to tell a storyline and that essentially that's what I do as a strategy consultant I take insights and I create stories out of them and I bring out the value and this is, sounds like the jargon I, I know a lot of you guys are just like rolling your eyes right now but essentially that is what I do as a strategy consultant and I really do believe that by fully encapsulating myself in a space where I understand data analytics, I can be a better consultant. So in terms of why I'm doing data analytics, first of all, I think it will help me be a better consultant. Secondly, I honestly think it's super interesting and something that I relatively have an affinity for. And last but not least, I honestly think data is really important. I am doing this with the help of Coursera. Coursera is basically a huge, huge platform with a massive catalog of different certifications, degrees, online degrees, uh, programs, courses that you're able to explore and you're able to do and you're able to add to your CV. And it's not only a badge of employability, but it's also a huge opportunity to learn new interests and skills. So I went into the platform and I looked through their entire catalog. They have so many different things I wanted to explore. Uh, particularly, I was interested in like the online certifications and the online professional certifications because 
it's just way more flexible for me to do like at this point I'm, I'm not able to do a micro degree or an online degree um, but a certification is something that I can do alongside my job you know once I log off or in the weekend so it's incredibly comfortable and flexible with my schedule and I actually <laughs> had a really hard time picking which one I wanted because as I mentioned like you know like there's so many interests out there to look into uh, there was actually the e-commerce and marketing course that I was also really interested in but I have actually I'm pretty confident in marketing at this point because I've worked in a lot of different marketing positions throughout my job as a consultant and also previously and data is something that I'm still like you know what you're, you're there I kind of know you but I'm a bit intimidated so you know what we're gonna do when we're intimidated we're gonna jump right in because that's how we grow that's how we go out of our comfort zones and that's how we become better and that's how we improve ourselves I have not started this is day one or maybe day zero because I did want to go through this with you guys together and I am thinking of documenting my journey on TikTok or Instagram so if you guys are interested in seeing me become a data analyst then definitely uh, follow me there and let me know if you do want to see my journey because if no one cares then I won't document it but if you guys do care then let me know and I'll show you guys my progress but let's go into it so this is the Google Data Analytics Professional Certificate so it's actually completely done by Google it is a course that is native to Google and they're the ones who are the instructors and I feel like Google Career Certificates is very very well-renowned certifications um, they are obviously like globally known uh, recognized by every single company and essentially it's really a no-brainer to go with Google for me and it says this is your path to a career in data analytics in this program you learn in-demand skills that will have you job ready in less than six months no degree or experience required now this is super important because what I also think these certifications are really great for is for people who decide to go for a path that's less traditional and perhaps didn't go to university and still want to upskill themselves and still want to be employable and attractive to different recruiters out there in the market these degrees do not require um, sorry these certifications do not require any degrees as I mentioned it is a six month duration so that means it will take me up to like the summer to do this and it's under 10 hours study a week so I think it's very very manageable it's in English it's in beginners and you can earn credits as well and that'll be part of a major degree that they have so this is part of the Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences and that's something that you can explore further in Coursera if it's something that you would be interested in now let's talk numbers okay so the median entry-level salary for a data analyst is $74,000 in the US which is a very attractive entry-level job 75% of Google certificate grads report career improvements and 380,000 in-demand jobs opening in data analytics. So these statistics are as of 2022 and 2021, so a little bit outdated and perhaps don't completely reflect the current tech environment. But still, I think I can say with a lot of confidence that it is a very, very future-proof skill to have and it's not as volatile as some other skills out there in the market. Now, let's see what I'm going to be learning in the next six months. So there are eight courses in this professional certificate. So it is not just one course, it's a whole certification. So that means I have to go through and I have to complete eight different courses. The first one is the foundations. So data, data everywhere. And the second course is ask questions to make data driven decisions. Thirdly, we've got prepared data for exploration. Next, we've got process data from dirty to clean. Then we've got analyze data to answer questions. This is what I think is going to be incredibly useful for me as a consultant. Then we've got shared data for the art of visualization. Let's see if it tells us what they use. So they use Tableau here and I'm actually pretty proficient in Tableau already. So I think that will be a good course and pretty easy, hopefully. Um, I am going to try to upskill myself in Power BI as well because it's becoming incredibly, incredibly important in my job to know how to uh, analyze Power BI. Then we've got data analysts. Oh, R programming. Okay, well, I've done R already and I told you guys it wasn't incredibly helpful, but still, it's a skill. And then we've got data analytics capstone, complete a case study. And that's how you complete the whole program. You will get a shareable link on LinkedIn, which tells you that you've completed it, which again is another badge of like, employ me, I've got the skill. And honestly, the, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this is because I want to be comfortable with SQL. And the third course, which is around preparing data for exploration, that's where I get to use tools like spreadsheets and SQL to extract and make use of right data. So I currently mainly use spreadsheets in Excel uh, using pivot tables to extract data, but I do want to see how SQL would work as well in that 
context. So yes, I am gonna start, maybe not today, but today is day zero as I mentioned and I will start probably this week or the upcoming week and let's see how it goes. So yes, let's do this and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Maybe I give up, hopefully not. Uh, after all that talk, let's really hope that doesn't happen. But I am sometimes, um, I find it hard to find time to do things that are important. So let's hope that doesn't happen this time. So yeah, if you want to, you can go onto the Coursera link, scroll through their massive catalog and browse to your heart's content. Find something that you think is important to you or something that would be useful that you can, you know, slap on your CV or share on LinkedIn, something that will make you more employable or something that will future-proof your career, something that you find interesting, like whatever it is. You can pick something, whether it's like a six month certification or a very quick and easy course, like individual one-off course. And most importantly, do DM me, whether it's on Instagram or on TikTok, or leave a comment and be like, Clouds, I'm doing this course, let's do it together. Or I'm doing the certification, let's do it together. And that will keep myself accountable as well to make sure I do go through with the whole thing. And if you're doing it too, then good luck to you and whatever course you're doing or whatever certification you're doing, good luck to you and you got this. Um, I got this too. We both got this if we go through it together. And if not, then I at least hope this video was informative and helpful and opens your mind to perhaps, you know, upskilling yourself, which is, I think, always a great thing. So yes, as always, thank you very much for watching. I love you guys. It's always a pleasure to have you guys here on my channel. Do let me know what you guys want to see in my next videos and do subscribe if you're not subscribed already because that would really, really make my day and that would, you know, allow you to join this amazing community. So like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more like it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.